civilization is hungry for energy. We rely on electricity. We've relied on electricity for, for, for many years now. However, what's changed is we now need to produce electricity which is clean. London Array is a project. It is a 630 megawatt wind farm which creates uh, electricity for half a million homes. And it does that in a way which doesn't emit carbon dioxide and displaces uh, approximately 275,000 cars from our roads. London Array is the largest operational offshore wind farm in the world. It was built over two years in 2012 and 2011. Uh, it is situated in the outer Thames estuary, uh, 20 miles offshore. The project is spread over 100 square kilometres, uh, made up of 175 wind turbines. The site itself is big enough to fit 2,725 Wembley stadiums. Between the turbines we have over 400 uh, kilometres of, of cable, uh, enough cable to stretch from here to, to Liverpool or Leeds. Uh, all of this cable has, has been buried into the seabed uh, to depths of two metres. The turbines themselves, including the foundations, weigh two, uh, 1,500 tonnes, which is the equivalent to about uh, 200 African elephants. So these are very large structures. In the operation of London Array, we're constantly faced with new challenges which come about from the harsh conditions we're faced with. We have 50-year uh, storms we have to design for. We have very harsh storms that come through during the, during the winter months that completely move the shifting sands of, of, of the wind farm. Over the 100 square kilometre site, the, the sand beds, the sand bars move on a continuous basis. In the operational phase now, it's, it's about keeping the turbines running for the design life of 20 years. And through, through the team of engineers we have on site, they are continually assessing the, the condition of the structures, the integrity of the structures, and to ensure that they are able to last uh, the length of the, of, the, of the project. The project uh, itself couldn't have been built without uh, the input of, of uh, civil engineers and, and a wider team of engineers during, the, during every stage of the project. In the design and construction phase, uh, engineers were required to, uh, to figure out um, the, the structural loads to figure out uh, what sort of uh, what the seabed was made up of uh, and how the the environment the winds and the waves would impact on the structures we need civil engineers to, to help us to to understand what the the teams going offshore to inspect the structures um, what, what, what are those reports telling us what can we learn from these structures now to help us to inform the, the design of future structures and what can we do with those reports and that information to help us to optimise the life of those structures. As a planet, we need to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide we're producing. However, there's not an appetite to reduce the amount of energy we're consuming. Civilization and society wants to continue to use large amounts of electricity. Uh, so to, to meet that hunger for electricity, we need to produce it in a way which is clean and is not contributing to global warming through the production of carbon dioxide. Pursuing a career in civil engineering will give you the, the discipline, will give you your mind the, the tools to, to apply creativity, to apply your imagination to uh, really big projects like London Array. Big projects like London Array with a, with a purpose. Projects where you want to create renewable energy, green energy. Uh, you want to power civilizations without the, the effects of pumping thousands of tonnes of, of carbon dioxide into the, into the atmosphere and, and creating a problem for global warming.